<sighs> Note to self, don't change your camera settings before recording an hour long footage to find out it was ruined. <laughs> Roll the intro. Welcome everyone to a long awaited video. I was meant to do this a couple months back uh, for the company Easy Desk or Easy Shoppers and I completely forgot, even though I've got multiple reasons never to forget because I have organizers, I have a ceramic organizing thing on my desk that tells me what I need to do and it just blew my mind that I actually forgot to do this. But this is the review of the Easy Shoppers sit stand desk that they sent out a couple of months back, which is kind of a bonus because it's now given me enough time to give you a very in-depth look into their product. Uh, the reason I'm doing this now is because I've reached out about their newer desk which is called the Beast because there's a few things on there that may help with the cons that I've found with their recent one that I've had. But without further ado let's jump into this review. Now before I do go into it I'm going to say they had no input whatsoever with what I'm going to say about their desk. Whether it's good or bad they can't tell me otherwise because I've had this, I've used it daily for some time now and I know the ins and outs of this thing, okay? It's my son. That's weird. Anyway, moving on. We're going to go over the durability, the build quality, the legs, the motor, the control panel, the size, everything. It's not the size, it's how you use it. It's how you utilize it, all right? <laughs> Anywho, so let's start off with the top. We'll move, we'll go from top down, okay? So the countertop. It's the, the, the pinnacle of the desk. There's going to be some B-roll in here as well, so it's not just going to be my face. Don't worry. So the, the top of the desk, it's a vinyl sort of dark oak, and it is a very sturdy piece of equipment. I'm not going to lie to you. The bit that gets me is how it's made. Obviously, it helps them with saving packaging and all that good stuff and shipping costs and whatever. So it helps the budget for you but it also minimizes the quality by having it in two separate parts. Now, I always feel like my desk's just gonna snap into two bits just because this super, super thin line in the middle that I don't even notice half the time because I never use the middle of the desk, no one does, but you know it's there. You know what I'm getting at, you know it's there. And over time you sort of think to yourself, oh, is it moved or is it just me? Like you feel like it's just not lining up anymore. But I will say the tabletop has never bowed, it's never warped, it's not deteriorated over any sort of time, even with having cups on there, spilled water on there. The only thing I'll say about it, because it might even be the fact because of the color that I went for is the dark oak. It does pick up fingerprints super, super easy. And I have a small child that gets very sticky and comes over to my desk and pats it like a dog. And it gets very, very messy. Also dust. I've noticed over time, dust is one thing I can't stand and it collects a lot of dust on the desk. But a simple wipe, that's the thing. It, your baby wipes, a spray in a cloth. It doesn't damage the vinyl. It doesn't damage the desk. It doesn't damage the wood, whatever. Moving on to the next thing underneath the desk. It's got all the screw holes. So we're still on the countertop, don't worry. It's got all the screw holes pre-screwed. The thing with having pre-screwed holes is certain things have to go in certain places unless you make your own holes, but then you're risking the durability of the desk itself because the more holes you put into something, the weaker it becomes. Pre-drilled in holes for the headset rest, the cup holder and the motor. And the one thing that got me was there was preset holes for the net to hold the cables. Now I tend to have my cables at certain points of the desk. It would have been nice to have the net to be able to go on either side, but it only goes on the right side of the desk at the back, which is kind of frustrating because all my plugs are on the left side. So I have to like figure out how I'm gonna do that. It worked well for the PC, but when it came to extension needs and stuff, everything was on the left side and I was like, oh great, I'm gonna have to cable tie this whole big bundle of things sort of underneath the desk somewhere. In the end, it did work out quite well. Yeah, it would have just been nice to be able to have it in any part of the desk that you would want it. The motor as well, I'm not sure if the motor has to be on the certain side of the desk on where the motor or the actual or the actual part is. You know, I don't know if it has to be on the left side or if it can turn to the right side. I haven't tried it, I haven't looked at it, I didn't want to break it. So it's on the left side. I don't know if that's just the standard for it or where it has to be. It is what it is at the end of the day. I'm not, not fighting, don't fight me. <laughs> All right, calm down, jeez. Moving to the actual motor itself though, like I haven't had any issues with it. It's not stuttered, it's not broken, it's not seized up. I haven't had to oil anything. You know, I haven't had to ask them for spare parts for things that might've gone wrong. Nothing's gone wrong with it at all. I haven't changed the fuse on it. I haven't done anything and it's worked seamlessly day in, day out. Every night I will hire my desk because I, like I said, I have a daughter, she'll run in in the mornings and start grabbing stuff off my desk or playing sort of workshop and start tapping away on the keyboard. So I raise the desk at night time really high and not once have I had sort of it slowly fall down or if ever 
fall down at all. So I know the motor's good, I know it's sturdy, it's strong, it holds its point. It doesn't over time sort of develop this sort of floppiness, if you will, which is good. That's definitely a, a 10 out of 10 for the motor. I have noticed with the legs, because this is a certain style of leg compared to the new one they're bringing out, the Beast, it's not a full frame. So the legs are, the legs are two struts with two feet at the bottom. And because the way they are, they tend to bow. I've noticed that a few of the bolts have come loose as well over time on the legs for the two struts. They have come loose. I've had to tighten them up again because obviously going up and down, you're going to get loose bolts, vibrations, all that stuff. Moving the desk as well, I did find the legs would start to bend and sort of make the desk unsturdy at times. So that's another flaw is the height of the desk, when it gets higher, obviously you're going to have less center of gravity. So the desk does get very unstable. I've not had it fall over or you know, feel like it's going to fall over. It's just unsturdy. When I'm trying to work and I've got the desk sort of swaying, it feels like you're on a boat. It's a bit weird. When it's at its lowest point at 73, absolutely fine. Not a single movement. I have noticed though, if the legs are perfectly straight, it does give a little bit of wobble. So if you push them out a little bit, like they're bowing, it holds it, it holds it sturdy. But then you do have to wonder, the legs are bowing, are they going to end up just... But with the new one, with the Beast, so I think the structure with the Beast, the new table that's out, because it's obviously a larger desktop sort of countertop on, on there, they've thought of the structure a bit better and it's more of a framed structure. So you've got sort of these square legs uh, that take up the whole desk size and then two struts underneath to hold more weight, which is what I would have thought they would have done with something like this because it is in two halves. I would have thought instead of having one beam in the middle, it would sort of be two struts on each side, but it does work. I'm not gonna lie, it holds its weight. It hasn't bowed, it hasn't done anything like that. I can't see any wear on the desk, apart from, like I said, the, the couple of bolts that came loose due to just vibrations, or even me moving the desk about. So I've moved the office around so many times since having it. But what I will say is this, if you're gonna build this, build it in the room that you want it to stay in because they are heavy. I'm trying to get this out of the old office into the new one, oh my God. It was a struggle. I even thought about taking the legs off and doing it separately, but it, that would have took too much time. So I, I, I struggled myself to wheeze this in here. I was like, eh, wheezing, get it in here. But finally, once this was set up and back to normal, magnificent. Like I said, it does come with headphone holders and the cup holder. They are made out of plastic. The headphone holder worked wonders. I've used it since day one. The cup holder, because the way it is, it doesn't hold it properly. I've spilt numerous cups from having it in the cup holder. Maybe that's just from me being clumsy and knocking it every time I walk past, forgetting it's there. I tend to find that things with a smaller sort of bezel at the bottom, so McDonald's cups or cans, they do not get sort of slotted in there enough. You can get one of the can cold sort of foamy things that will go in there and you could slot it in, that would work. But that's just another hassle that you need to do. I don't really know if there's a fix for this. Maybe get a cup holder that's got sort of these rubber silicon things that you slide it in and it's secured more. But it's just nice it has a cup holder if you need it. Because there's so much space on the desk, I tend to have my cup on the desk anyway. But um, yeah. They also sent out a dual monitor stand with the desk. One thing I noticed about that, it doesn't fit the desk. I don't know if it's just the way that I set it up, but you have a bracket underneath that goes to so say this is the desk. You have a bracket that goes underneath that you have to tighten to sort of clamp it. Clamp, that makes sense. The bottom bit doesn't actually reach the bottom of the desk once it's fully tight. So I've had to squeeze in polystyrene, some Velcro strips in there, some cardboard, just to sort of fulfill the gap that's missing. Once I did that, it worked absolutely fine because when I didn't have it, I was using like pennies underneath the top mount to sort of stop it from swaying to one side. But once I figured it out and fixed it, absolutely works wonders. It may have been the clamp that I used at the bottom because it come with like three different style clamps, but I'm pretty sure the other two were to drill through the desk, which I'm not going to go do because I'd end up breaking the desk itself. So I used the clamp that screwed on and it just, yeah, it didn't reach. So I don't know if I was missing a part or if it just doesn't reach the bottom of their own desk. I'm not sure. So that was a bit of a weird one for me, but once I figured it out and fixed it myself, absolutely wonderful i haven't had an issue with it since holds its weight as well it holds the monitors perfectly steady you can move them in and out up and down left and right all sorts all sorts so to review the desk obviously it being a sit stand desk in the mornings i tend to find myself at the most tiredest point that's when i'll stand up because that will give me the full satisfaction of waking up you know, getting to work, doing what I need to do. And editing can be a very daunting task, let me tell you. There's so many videos that I need to get edited, but because I'm sitting down all day, I'm sort of like, I get bored, I get fatigued, I get tired. I want to sit and watch 
YouTube instead because that's the only thing that my mind's capable of doing at that point in time. But if I stand up, it gives me a fresh of like, it gives me like a breath of fresh air. It's like a, a wake up call, like, oh, your legs are working, get up, do something. After having a shower as well, waking up from a shower, coming in here and just standing at a desk instead of sitting down and going back into this slumped, uh, crouched over sort of posture, I can stand up and just feel motivated. I don't know what it is with standing up when you're working. They say it in a lot of, when I used to do finance, they say standing up can really get you into this more of a sales pitch sort of stance where, because you're standing up, you feel like you're standing over something and talking down and, you know, putting your point across. And I think that's the same when you're working at a desk. When you're standing up at a desk, it just gives you more of this, I'm ready, let's get shun. You know what I mean? Like, let's get it done. Let's boom this project out and sort it out. And that's what I've noticed with standing up at a desk. It's crazy. And yes, it helps with back pain. You will obviously get leg pain from standing up for so long. So it's nice to have that actual feeling of, oh, I can sit down. Let me just, ah, oh. and you sit down for a bit and then you get back up and stand up. My watch tells me as well when I need to get up and move. If I've been sitting down for longer than an hour, my watch will remind me, get up, do some stretches, grab a drink, hydrate yourself, do some stretches, come back, feel revived, breathe, get back into it. And that's what I love. Um, obviously, I work from home and I use it on the daily and it has helped with so many things, even sleeping. OK, let me tell you this. <laughs> you ever been at school, right? If you're at school, if you're not at school, if you've ever been at college, whatever, and you're at the desk and you're tired, you've just woke up, you can't be bothered. And you just you, you just go to your desk, put your hands on your desk like this. But because they're so low, it's like your back is arching and it hurts. You wake up and you're like, ah, oh, my back, ah, pain. Don't worry, you've got a solution. Raise the desk, sit down, okay? This is what you do, you sit down for a bit, raise the desk, just to about here, right? Raise it, stop it. Arms on, perch your head. When I've woke up at five in the morning with my daughter, she's sitting there eating a cereal and I'm sitting there about to work. And I'm like, I need like a nap, like I'm still, not woke up yet, I just need that 10 minute nap just to sort of revive myself. You know when you have a nice good little 10 minute nap and you wake up and you're fresh? Or you have an hour long nap and you wake up and you feel terrible, don't do that. Wake up 10 minutes later, just a little snooze, raise the desk a little bit higher than sort of your chin, lay your arms on, pop your head down, oh my God, fantastic. You'll wake up revived, I tell you now, you'll wake up feeling fresh. That's what this does, it makes you feel fresh. Enough jabbering and sort of giving you little tips and tricks. We can make another video about that if you want. <laughs> We're gonna go over little sort of score of what I think. So obviously the top of the desk, the counter, I'm gonna give about a seven, just because the fact of the center line and how it collects fingerprints, things like that, it, it bugs me a little bit. You can obviously change the countertop if you really wanted to, but I like to keep it authentic and keep it the same, whatever using the same mouse mat they sent me, which works wonders, by the way. So if you're looking at a mouse mat and you need it to fit their desk, just get theirs. It works fantastic. 10 out of 10. The legs, I'm going to give a six because they do worry me sometimes. I've never had it happen. They haven't ever fell. They haven't ever warped and bent and snapped. But because the way they are and the weight that they hold, it does, it panics me a bit thinking one day these are just going to give way. So for that, I give them a seven just for the way that they're made. Um, I think the beast, though, the way they're made, 10 out of 10. Fantastic. The motor, 10 out of 10. I haven't had a flaw with that thing. It doesn't stutter. It's a little bit slow, but still that's just natural. It's lifting up a lot of weight. It needs to go steady in case if it went too fast, you're gonna crumble and drop everything. So yeah, that's a 10 out of 10 for me. The motor works fantastic. The buttons, obviously you have to hold it and then it remembers sort of where you're going up and down. Uh, where on the Beast, I've seen that I have two buttons for sitting and standing. So they're sort of like the memory buttons and then you can go up and down sort of if you if you want. So maybe it'd be nice to have that feature to be able to have two memory buttons and also the up and down because with this you have to hold it three seconds, it starts flashing and then you let go. It's not a massive issue. It'd be nice just to have designated buttons for certain things like sitting down and standing up. Again, the cup holder, I'm, I'm gonna give the cup holder about a three out of 10. I don't use it personally because the issue for me is it doesn't hold the cup properly. I always worry that it's just gonna get a little tap, a little knock. I'm playing games, I'm spinning my hand around. I'm editing, I'm spinning my hand around. I don't wanna knock this again, which I've already done, but that was walking past it. But I don't wanna knock it with my hand and the cup sort of bounce off the plastic and slap back sort of thing because then the, the, the 
it's just going to go everywhere. And like you knocking it over on your desk, it knocks over and it spills. You know, it spills. You can just dab, dab, dab. But when you hit it and it's in a frame and it it jiggles, it's going to go anywhere. The world's its oyster at this point. That that juice or that tea, coffee, it's going to go white walls. It's going straight to that white wall. I can tell you right now. That's the only reason I don't like it. But for someone else, it might be a 10 out of 10. Don't hold me to this. These are just my numbers, okay? But for the overall score, I'm going to say 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for the the whole experience. Like like I said, I was meant to do this when I first had it, but I feel like this is better to have a desk for so long, use it daily, and have a proper diagnosis of the desk itself. Instead of it being a two-week honeymoon period of me being like, this desk's amazing, and not picking out its flaws, I think it's been good that I've left it for so long. Obviously, I didn't mean to intentionally, but it's good that I have forgot about it because now I've given you a proper insight to this desk. And for the price, let me tell you, you're looking at a desk right now that's probably about 1,500. It does the same thing. It holds the same weight. It'll probably come in the same packaging. Like they probably do the same split desk thing. And if they don't, it's just a different topping. You can get a different topping for this. It's like buying a cake from the same baker. They've just added a different top and a different price. It's the same cake underneath, all right? Think about it, think about it. So now they've obviously got the newer one out as well, which is still a lot cheaper than what you're probably looking at. But for the top mount, for the legs, without the optional bits, they do a white oak and a white, I believe at the moment. The Beast, that's at 309 pounds. This was probably at 250 to 300. I think it was more in the 200 range for this one. And let me tell you, I mean, it's worth it. It's worth it. You're looking at a desk that's nearly over a grand and a half when you can get one for 200 and spend the rest of the money on something else. I mean, you can't go wrong. You cannot go wrong. So what I'm going to do is leave a link in the description that you can go to and check them out. Even just checking them out, if you're really looking into the market and sort of seeing what you want to budget yourself out, just go check them out. Give them a little, a little look over and think about it. So I can say, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Start a conversation. Any, any questions to me, or if you want to, you know, see something else. But if you want to know anything else about the desk or myself or whatever, leave it in the comments below. I will definitely get back to you. If this video has helped you in any way, decide whether to go for an easy desk over something else, or even if you're just looking in the market, give it a like. Hit subscribe because it helps the channel grow, and we can continue on this path of growing together. Um, and obviously remember to hit the notification bell because that's when you will get notified on every upload. I'm currently trying to figure out a schedule as well. That will that will sort of change in due course. But other than that, my name's been Callum. It's been an honor working with Easy Shopper for their desks and I'm excited to get the new beast and go through that with some new content for you all. Again, I'll catch you in the next one. Stay positive and enjoy life. Roll the outro.